And there, here we go. We have Coach <laughs> Grove coming. A little wet. <laughs> As Coach joins us here. They got him. Oh, Coach Tim Grove looks like uh, it was a heck of a celebration. <laughs> uh, yeah, they um, surprised me. Surprised <laughs> me with, uh, with some confetti and a, and, a, and a bath, I guess you could say. <laughs> So uh, well, it was nice. Well, was congratulations, nice. number 100 in the UMAC. Thank you. Uh, it you know, obviously is, it feels real nice, but um, again, the reason is because all the all the great players we've had. You know, it uh, uh, doesn't matter what kind of coach you are if you don't have good players to work with, and and so this is about all the players that have been here, um, you know, for these last eight years and into my ninth year now, and and uh, it's a great group to do this with. I, I love the team I've got now. Um, but I've had, uh, this is my ninth really good team that I've really liked. And, and so um, it says a lot about the players that have come through the last, the last eight years. And uh, I've been very, very fortunate to work with some, some not only great players, but some really, really good people. And, and uh, so it says a lot more about the players that I've been able to get in than it does about me. Yeah, and your sidekick and her recruiting efforts uh, bringing in some of those great players. Absolutely. Too. Amy, Amy's done terrific. You know, it's been certainly shared duties all the way around. She, um, uh, has done a great job on the recruiting front, on the scouting front, on everything. And she's taken on more and more duties each and every year as she has grown as a coach and, and has just done a, a tremendous job. So, yeah, she also deserves uh, a lot of credit for this as well. Okay. Well, tonight's game, 79-37 on paper. It looks like an easy win, but, man, it sure looked like you had to work hard for this one. Well, we did. You know, um, um, I like the way we, we pressured in the first half. Uh, that's something we want to get back to a little bit more this year. And, and uh, that led to easy baskets for us. You know, we, we didn't do a great job from the field, per se, in the first half. Our shooting percentage was good because we got so many layups. But um, one thing we didn't do very well, I thought, was, was you know, knock down shots from the outside. Uh, but when you're getting all those layups, I guess that's something that you may not, you know, get in the groove with. But, um, uh, but they play hard. And Coach Tucker, is, he's going to uh, really get things going there. And, and uh, uh, he's going to get things turned around quickly because they, they play hard for him, and he does a great job just yeah, getting there. They did not quit at all. Absolutely. Yeah, how would you grade out the rebounding? That was a concentrated effort tonight. It was a much more concentrated effort, and they got, uh, they got nine offensive boards. Our, our goal tonight was eight or fewer, and they ended up with nine, uh, which is going to happen. Um, but uh, So it was much, much better. I thought we did a much, much better on the boards, a much better job on the boards, and we're certainly going to have to continue that into tomorrow with Scholastica coming in. Yeah, let's talk about St. Scholastica and what they bring tomorrow. Well, they're, um, they're a good basketball team. You know, they, they uh, have had some, some real nice wins, and, and I, I know that uh, uh, they have, they've struggled uh, to score at times as well. Um, but overall, they've, they've done a really good job. They put, uh, uh, at all times, they've got five players on the floor who can really play very, very well, uh, led by, I think, to be a potential player of the year candidate in, in, in Mariah Holbeck. She does just a phenomenal job at the point guard position, went over 1,000 points here a couple weeks ago. Um, just controls the ball very, very well, and, and uh, they're, they're well-rounded. You know, they've got players that can score inside and out and handle the ball and do all those things. So um, I'm expecting a very, very good basketball game here tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like they were tested by Crown. Final was 61 to 49, but that was a six-point game at the half. Okay, wow, yeah. And, and I tell you what, too, Crown's a, a team that's getting better. You know, last week they, oh. <laughs> they played Bethany Lutheran to a two-point game. And, and uh, so I, I think when we see Crown again, it'll be a completely different, uh, different vibe than, than we saw him here the first time. So a lot of that credit goes to Crown. Uh, and who knows, I, you know, maybe in an instance like this as well, St. Scholastica might be looking past them a little bit uh, and looking forward to tomorrow's game. So we know we're going to get a great effort from Scholastica, and, and uh, it's going to be, um, uh, we're going to have to play very, very well to come out with a W tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like there's a little more balance in the conference this year. Would you second that? Or? Absolutely, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, um, it could go either way. Obviously, we're very, very early in things here, but um, you know, I think there's there's probably four teams out there that could potentially win it, and I think there's probably uh, you know six teams out there that can really be vying for playoff spots. So um, every game is important. You know, we we approach every game like it's a conference championship game, and and uh, uh, we certainly came with that focus tonight, and we'll have it again tomorrow, and because every game is important, especially the home one. So um, hopefully, we can come out and play well again. Okay, Coach, we'll be back again with you tomorrow. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. Again, congratulations. congratulations. Head Coach Tim Grove winning his 100th game as a UMAC head coach. Now 116 in the UMAC and 143-86 and in his uh, career overall and here at UMM.